Just a quick guide on connecting the Android TV functionality of the Globe Stream Watch. So we will be using the TP-Link UE300 USB Gigabit to Ethernet dongle because we don't want to use the built-in SIM of this device. So we will be using like a Converge Fiber or a Globe or PLDT Fiber. So first we need to buy this device, the UE300, the TP-Link. And you can purchase this on any malls and online stores like Shopee or Lazada. I actually just tried if this will work because on researching on this topic, I have thought that you need to buy specific USB dongles. So as you can see, this is the version 4 and this matches my version of the hardware and we can see the installation guide so basically this one is just plug and play so you don't need to install any drivers even on windows and on linux but i only tried this on windows linux and on now on the android tv you cannot install drivers on the android tv so if it will work it will work if it will not and it will not So here is the device now, the iStream watch, and we will be connecting the dongle. So be sure to turn it off before you plug anything in. So just keep your HDMI cable to your TV and then disconnect the power. So by the way, we cannot use this LAN or the built-in LAN because it is restricted by the software. And I tried to find ways to bypass it but I cannot find any way yet. So we will just use the easiest solution by buying a USB to Ethernet dongle. So like this one, the TP-Link. So just plug this thing in on our router. Of course, you need a LAN cable like this. So just plug it in and then make sure that the LAN port on your router is enabled. Mostly it is only on LAN 1. So here we go, we plug this thing in first. And then now we should plug in the USB to the USB socket. So after you plug this thing in, you can now power on the device. So again, this device is powered by a 12 volt DC. And here we have power. And you can see that there is a light now, so it means this could work because the transmission or the manual says that it will have a blinking light when it is connected. Of course, you can check on your router page on the device the DHCP settings if you can see a device that matches the MAC address of this dongle. So let's just wait for this thing to boot up. And I have plugged in my capture card to capture the output, which then my output of the device. It might take a minute or two to boot the device up. So again, this is only tested on the older version of the firmware of this device. Because right now, I think they have 1.04 version and mine has the 1.03 version on the uh, firmware version of the router. So let's go to the settings. It will lag because it's the first time boot again. So settings to the network. I'm using the remote of the device. And I turned off the router Wi-Fi because I'm not using it. And as you can see the router version is LT90 underscore 1.03. So I'm not sure if it will work on the LT90 underscore 1.04. We can now check the IP address, just go to the about and then status 
and that the upper or the first one is the IP address of the device. And if you can see, this is the one that I configured as well on my main router. So now we can try to watch YouTube. So open the app up. And let's just browse the app and check if any videos will play. So for example, I'm typing my own channel, R1BNC. And as you can see, it does work. So we have internet connection. Because if you don't have internet connection, it will just say uh, unable to connect to the internet. I'm checking my alternate channel. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I suggest you subscribe if you like the content. But if you don't like it, then don't subscribe. Now let's check which if it does have internet connection. And it works, we have internet connection because it displays the current live channels and the recommended games are updated. So comment below if the method works for you. And don't forget to like the video and share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.